is only war. What is up gents, 40k Dirtbags, we're doing a comparison video today, we're going to be going over the two assassins that are going to be really good uh, coming into 10th edition, especially with the CP and how hungry most armies are. If you guys are new to the channel, I appreciate you clicking on the video, if you guys want to head over to Discord, there's a huge Discord growing over there, uh, and also if you guys are Patreons, thank you guys, you guys are fucking awesome. So if you guys like the channel, support, want to get better at the competitive scene, head over to the competitive uh, Patreon page, uh, and also the, the Grandmaster Patreon page, you get to message me one on one anytime, questions, comments, concerns list ideas tactics all that stuff uh, that's gonna be coming up so if you guys are interested head over there and if you guys uh, want to buy some dirtbag dice those are up for sale again uh, we just got a bunch more in uh, they're gonna be a dollar uh, for, for each dirtbag dice as well as uh, objectives those are up on 3d6 wargaming and stickers shit some stickers still to sell so those are up on uh, the discord so let's get into the video we're comparing the Caldas assassin as well as uh, cypher and seeing which one was better for the points so here we go. I put two side by side just so you guys can see the difference. Now, if you guys are Chaos players, you're obviously going to be using the Cypher. If you guys are Imperium players, you're obviously going to be using the Calidus. But if you see this on the other side of the table, you should know what they do. So that way you should either kill them uh, or use the rules that you know uh, to your advantage to try and you know help yourself out. So the biggest thing that they both have is anytime you use a stratagem, your, your your opponent uses a stratagem, you or your opponent, depends on who you're facing, uh, they can then increase that stratagem by one. So think about your best stratagem you use every single game. Grey Knights, we use all of them. So we have one CP strat for minus one AP, one CP strat to get out of dodge, one CP strat to come within three inches, uh, and one CP strat to advance and shoot. So mainly the three that i said uh, prior those are going to be the ones you're going to be using for uh the extra strat so every time you, you want to use that strat for the rest of the game it's two cp so every single turn you always have to have two cp in your back pocket to try and rely and, and make sure you use that strat sometimes you're using multiple of them each turn if you're going against other opponents and you want to make sure you know what stratagems that they have or at least ask them, see their little data sheet card, uh, you can then choose which one would be the best one to use. You can always ask your opponent, hey, which one of these stratagems do you usually use the most in most situations? They'll tell you, they should be able to tell you like, oh, I use this one, this one, this, this one. I usually use all of them, uh, but which one is the best one to use against you? I don't know, it's completely up to you. These are the two main ones I use. Now you have to wait till they use it before you can proc this ability. Uh, that is the main thing that they both have, uh, is to kind of fuck over the opponent uh, to, use extra stratagems or extra CP that a lot of us don't have uh, throughout the game. So that's really, really cool in 10th edition. Uh, that's why you should always have these guys in your list, whether it be Chaos or Grey Knights or any, any Imperium. So that is the, what they have. The difference though between Cypher and Kalidus mainly is the points, but starting on the table. So Kalidus doesn't have to start on the table to proc the, uh, the CP strat. Cypher does. They're both lone operative. They both can be targeted outside of 12 inches. Uh, they both, one has deep strike. This one over here has deep strike, uh, infiltrator, lone operative, and fight first. So she has all of that for an extra 10 points. Cypher over there uh, only has lone operative and dark pact. That's it. That's the difference. That's all he has. So you have to be more careful and cautious with Cypher than you do with the assassin. The assassin, if there's a lot of uh, moving pieces on the, on, the, on the enemy team, you can always just start her in deep strike and keep her off the table uh, for the first three turns or two turns, come in turn three late game, use her for secondaries, but by that time you probably already procced the one CP strat so that way it costs more. Cypher, you have to keep him on the table really well protected so that way he doesn't get sniped out. Uh, there's ways to ignore lone operative, especially with Grey Knights, uh, and if they can deep strike within 12 inches and just shoot him, he's gonna die that way. So he's a little bit more tankier. He has a three up, four up with uh, five wounds. The Assassin only has a four up in Bone Save with four wounds, uh, both toughness four. So the main difference, she can be on the table or she can be off the table. He has to be on the table. So remember that anytime you're facing Cypher, if they're coming from reserves, they can't use that stratagem. So you're kind of, you're more aggressive with your stratagems. Uh, if he's on the table, try and kill him before you use those stratagems. So my game against Mike, I tried to kill his, his uh, Cypher 
before he was able to, to do his, his ability. So that way I don't have to worry about spending the extra CP. And we actually managed to do it with our librarian 18 inches away. Uh, Vortex had doomed him. I rolled a six and then rolled like a, a five or six for, for the damage for 2d6 uh, damage and we killed him. So then we were able to come within three, do our minus one AP, you know, all that stuff. So that was the goal if I if I go against the Cypher. If I go against Caladus, it's a lot harder to do because she's up in Deep Strike, so I can't kill her. So almost every single time you play a Caladus Assassin, you're gonna have to spend the extra CP because your opponent knows what to spend it on. And then once you spend it, because you're you're playing the game, you're, you're planning on spending it, you have to try and get that CP back extra every single turn. So he used it on my teleport away strat. So now I have to teleport away. That's the whole point of the Grey Knight is uh, I need to spend two CP to do that. So that was huge. Uh, going against Ray Knight. So I'm thinking like when I played uh, Eldar, use it on his Phantasm so that way he can't move seven inches away. So my charges aren't farther, my, my guns are still in range, uh, all that stuff. So either one of these, if you if you look at your opponent's you know data sheet, make sure you pick one that they're probably gonna be using or that's gonna hurt you the most when they use it. So that's, uh, that's a little tip for, for both the CP strat. Now, what does uh, Caldus Assassin have? She's really good at killing other characters. So she has a lot of precision. Uh, Cypher does not. So Cypher has Assault, Pistol, Sustain Hits, two guns. Uh, the Assassin has a uh, Anti-Infantry 2 Precision Turret gun. So it's not Pistol, uh, but it's Anti-Infantry 2+. Plus. And she's got a uh, sword, which is also precision. So she's an assassin. She's mainly for killing characters. So she has a lot of precision. Um, and then Cypher has a lot of pistols. So Cypher is good at killing like marines and small units. Uh, Caldus is good at killing characters. Now, speed seven, speed six. Uh, none of them can advance and charge, but she has fucking fight first, which is insane. So if she does get charged, she can then fight before they do. Uh, and the main other difference is she has built-in teleport assault. So she can actually, at the end of the movement phase, get picked up every single turn and then deep strike in the reserves or come in from reserves nine inches away from the enemy team. So she's really hard to kill, to, to get down, uh, as well as she's going to be really good for secondary. So trying to kill her sooner than later is gonna stop your opponent from getting more secondaries out of her. She's really good at, at holding uh, objectives uh, and just being you know annoying in the, in the corner uh, for behind enemy lines, engage, or doing actions. So she's, she could ignore killing people and just be there for secondary. Cypher, kind of the same thing. He is going to probably start in your backfield, stop uh, from enemy deep striking with the nine inches from your backfield, but he can also do some secondaries in your side of the table edge. He's not going to be running all over the place like uh, Caldus Assassin is. He's going to be sitting in the backfield, uh, doing some actions, maybe shooting every once in a while. Once he does his one CP strat, you can kind of be more aggressive with them, both of them. So once they do the one CP strat, they did their job, they can go do whatever they want to do. He, his thing though is he has assault weapons. So with most of the secondaries, you can actually advance and still do the action because it says if you're eligible to shoot, you can then do the action. So if he advances, he's eligible to shoot because he has an assault weapon, he can then do an action. So he kind of gets you know in different quarters uh, to try and do an action more often than not. So if he's too far away from the, the corner to try and get within nine inches to do that uh, one you know, action within nine inches of a corner, he can then run to try and get within nine inches of the corner uh, to then do that action for, you know, two two victory points. So uh, if he has to run onto an objective and do an action on an objective, he can do that way as well. So that's what separates him uh, from Caldus, is Caldus can't advance and do actions. She can only teleport assault and, and do all that stuff for action. So here's another separate thing that he has that she doesn't, is every time he is targeted uh, a unit himself or another unit within three inches of him, he can shoot the unit that's shooting at that unit. So if he's in combat uh, and they target a unit within three inches, he can shoot uh, at, at that unit that he's in combat with as long as he has pistols, which he does, uh, and they're targeting him or the unit around. So if he lives after they shot at him, he can then shoot back. The hard thing is it's only a 12 inch range. So if they're within 12 inches, they're probably shooting him. If they're outside of 12 inches, you can't shoot because you're only shooting 12 inches. So that's what I didn't understand. If his pistols were 18, that'd be so much better. Uh, I mean, I, I think they, I don't know, they're not gonna increase it, but if they're 18 inch range, he'd be a little bit more used, a little bit more deadly, uh, and and you wouldn't wanna shoot the unit because then you know you're gonna get shot at by, uh, by Cypher back. So that was the big difference is he can only shoot within 12, but it's a cool little cheeky thing that it hasn't come up for me in any of my games yet, because usually everything dies, uh, or he's not within 12 inches to shoot back. So 
that was that was a, a big difference. So if he's in front and they're shooting at somebody behind him, most of the time they would just shoot him if they were within 12. So that's that's what I didn't understand. Maybe they have one guy within 12 so that one guy can shoot Cypher, but then that means he can shoot that unit. So maybe it might come up. I don't know. Uh, so that's Cypher. Now, point-wise, we already went over 115 points, 105 points. Both, you're basically paying 100 points to use this stratagem. 100%, I think, is worth it. Uh, it's been... It came up every single game that I played in. People hate it. Uh, I brought Caldas Assassin in ninth edition when I first started playing Grey Knights again. It's in a bunch of my uh, early videos because she she was so good. Once I got rid of the uh, stratagems and uh, the points and all that stuff, um, I stopped using her. But her bringing that ability back and even being off the table to use it, uh, I started bringing her back around 100%. So she's going to be in a lot of lists. You have to prepare to go against her. And same with Cypher. Cypher is uh, only in Chaos Space Marines. But if they don't have them on the list, they're, they're, they're messing up. They should bring a Cypher to fuck over the opponent uh, as much as they possibly can. So those are my two intakes on these two uh, comparisons. If you guys are both Chaos Space Marine and Grey Knight player, you should have both these guys. Uh, if you don't have any of these models, uh, we are 3D printing the... the uh, Probably shouldn't say that. We have Caldus Assassin, uh, we're, we're giving away. Uh, and then Cypher, we're, we're trying to find a, a model that can that we can print for, for the Cypher model. I know there's a female Cypher somewhere out there that looks fucking awesome. I definitely want to print her. She looks really cool. But uh, both these models are up for sale if you guys want to go buy them. But they're definitely worth it to test out and throw them in your list. For 105 points or 115, almost every single time, they're just automatically added into my list. So that's my intake. Let me know what you guys think. Who's better? I think the the Cal assassin honestly is better for what she does, uh, but if your if your Cal cipher is your go-to, so leave me in the comments below. Uh, did I miss anything? Is there something that that really that happened in your game? You're like, holy shit! I need to tell people about that because it, it is insane. Uh, go uh, post it on Discord as well. But appreciate you guys. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you guys like the channel, head over to Patreon, go support us, and maybe you'll win some free shit in our next giveaway. So. Videos that are coming up, I should probably mention that real quick. We have list building ideas for 10th edition, movement phase for Grey Knights, movement phase tactics, best chaos space marine units, points versus value, ally units, filling gaps, points, best Grey Knight allies, allies, uh, Cypher versus Calidus, which is this one, Calidus strats, best strats for minus one CP, Grey Knights versus armor, and charge phase new strats. So let me know in the comments. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hit all the YouTube shit, and we'll see you in another video soon.